to the third. Okay. So this is an exercise on finding the RL of top of the object. To find the RL of top of the object when base of the object is accessible. There are two cases to find the RL of top of object when base is accessible and base is inaccessible. What is base accessible? When we reach the base, when we are able to reach the base, that we call it as base accessible. When we cannot reach the base, that is called base inaccessible. Now let us solve problem on finding the RL of top of the object, top of the object when base is accessible. So what we are going to do here, this is a, the benchmark has been given, RL of benchmark has been given. Okay, RL of benchmark is known, already known. First what you have to do is select the point, let us call this as a A and let us call this as a B. B is the base of the object, A is the top of the object. Let us set the theodolite at a convenient distance D from the base. This is the base. Let us take this station as C at C at a convenient distance. Okay. Let us take this distance as D. The distance may be some 10, 15 meter, 20 meter, 30 meter, etc. At some convenient distance, select the station C. Right? You can take 20 meter or 30 meter at convenient distance based on the topography of the ground. Okay? So select the station C and set the theodolite over the station C and do all the temporary adjustments. Which are the temporary adjustments you are doing? The temporary adjustments are leveling. First we have to do the centering, leveling and removing the parallax and focusing. All temporary adjustments you do at the station C. After doing all the temporary adjustments, make the vertical angle 0 degree, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Okay? In the vertical angle. So, when you make the vertical angle 0 degree, 0 minutes, 0 seconds, the instrument can be used as a level. So, now the horizontal axis will be truly horizontal. Now, after making the angle, 0 vertical angle, 0 degree, 0 minutes, 0 seconds, now the horizontal axis will be horizontal now. Place the staff over the benchmark, the second step. So first step what you have to do, select the station C at a convenient distance from B and set the theodolite over there and do all the temporary adjustments. After making all the temporary adjustments, make the vertical angle 0 degree, 0 minute, 0 seconds. This is step number 1. The step number 2. Place the leveling staff over the benchmark. Place the leveling staff over the benchmark and take the staff reading. Let the staff reading on the benchmark be yes. Yes is the staff reading on the benchmark. This is step number two. After taking the staff reading on the benchmark, now from the third leg, Bisect station A, the top of the object, which RL you have to find. Bisect station A, right? And note down the vertical angle, alpha. So when you bisect station A, the line of sight is inclined upward. Find out what is the angle alpha. Note down that alpha. Now what are the field observations we have done. One is the distance D. D is the distance. Distance between base of the object and instrument station. IS is instrument station. S is the staff reading. S is the staff reading. And alpha is the angle of elevation. These are the observations which we are going to make in the field. Right? After making these observations, I want to find the RL of top of the object A. How do you find the RL of top of the object A? To find the RL of top of the object A, let us consider this triangle A, this is C dash, this is B dash. A, C dash, B dash. 
let us take this as h1 okay let us take this find a b dash as h1 and c dash b dash is d consider this triangle now in this triangle so in this triangle this is c dash this is a dash this is b dash b dash c dash is d and a b dash is h1 and this angle is alpha right by applying the trigonometric principle trigonometric rule tan alpha is equal to opposite by adjacent that is h1 divided by d therefore h1 is equal to d tan alpha this is the value of h1 h1 is equal to d tan alpha now i got the value of h1 i have found out the value of h1 now i want to find rl of top of a so rl of a is equal to that is rl of top of the object a is the top of the object rl of top of the object a is equal to rl of benchmark rl of benchmark plus this is rl of benchmark plus s yes. plus s yes. plus so this is the horizontal axis right what is the rl of the instrument axis horizontal axis of the instrument rl of benchmark plus s yes. that is the rl of instrument axis but i want to find rl of point a how do you find rl of point a rl of benchmark plus s yes. plus h1 plus h1 this gives you rl of a right dear students you have to follow this method for finding rl of the object top of the object when base is accessible right so whatever i have taught here let us do an exercise in the field we will do exercise in the field we will record all the readings and then we will find out the rl of a Okay. Okay. Now, uh, after uh, doing the class, whatever we have discussed in the class. Okay. Now we are going to do in the field. This is the flag post. This is the top of the flag post, and this is the base of the flag post. Right. The this is the top of the flag post, and this is the base of the flag post, and base is accessible. We can go and reach the base. When we can reach the base, okay, this is the exercise where to find the RL of top of the flag post when base is accessible. We can reach the base here. Now, how to conduct the exercise? The so first, we have to set the theodolite at a convenient distance. At a convenient distance from the base of the flag post, right? Let us measure the distance between the base of the flag post. and the station c this is the station c the station a is a is the top of the flag post and b is the bottom of the flag post now let us measure the distance d from the now the horizontal distance d is 14.4 meter 14.4 meter let us record that horizontal distance d as 14 point d is equal to 14.4 meter right now after finding the distance d next second step is set the theodolite over the station c now already this the instrument has been set and all the temporary adjustments have been done which are the temporary adjustments centering leveling and focusing all the three temporary adjustments has to be done over the station c after conducting all the three temporary adjustments over the station c okay now make the vertical angle 0 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds so here the vertical angle you have to make it 0 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds 
for finer bisection use the tangential screw tight the upper clamp screw sorry vertical clamp screw and use the tangential screw for finer bisection and make the vertical angle 0 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds now here it is 0 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds vernier c and vernier d both should be 0 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds now it, both it is 0 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds now the instrument is level horizontal axis is horizontally level now okay now we have to place the staff over the benchmark the benchmark has been given here 880.5 880.5 is the rl of benchmark now we have to place the staff over the benchmark and we have to take the staff reading right now the staff reading we have to take over the benchmark Now let us take the staff reading over the benchmark and the staff reading over the benchmark is 1.380. Now the S value, the reading S is equal to 1.380 meter. Now we got the value of D and we got the value of S and we have to find the vertical angle alpha. Now bisect the station C, bisect the station A, which is RL of top of the platform. Lose the vertical clamp screw. Now bisect the top of the flag post. Now I have bisected till the top of the flag post and have to measure the vertical angle alpha. To measure the vertical angle alpha, now main scale reading and one year scale reading, both the readings have to take. The main scale reading is 19 degree. 40 minutes is the MSR reading and coinciding vernier scale reading is 18 minutes 20 seconds therefore the angle is 19 degree 58 minutes 20 seconds is the angle alpha now we have found out the angle alpha angle D and angle S now after finding all these angles or taking all these observations, now we have to do the calculations. We have to find the RL of top of the object. Okay, these are the observations, field observations we have made. One is horizontal distance D, second is the staff reading and other one is the vertical angle alpha. After making all these staff readings and the, the taking the readings, now we have to find out the RL of top of the object. Okay, we have to do the calculations. So let us do the calculations in the classroom. After making all the field observations, now the distances, whatever the readings which we got in the field, let us do the calculations of this. Let us substitute the values which we got in the field. The horizontal distance the D is equal to 14.4 meter. The distance D is 14.4 meter is the horizontal distance D. And the staff reading over the benchmark is 1.380 meter is the staff reading over the benchmark. Okay, now the staff reading S is equal to 1.380 and horizontal distance D is equal to 14.4 meter and the alpha, the angle is 19 degree 58 minutes. 20 seconds 
okay the angle alpha is 19 degree 58 minutes 20 seconds now using this data we are going to find out the distance h1 now you know this h1 is equal to d tan alpha 1 or d tan alpha therefore h1 is equal to what is the value of d d is 14.4 into tan alpha is 19 degree 58 minutes 20 seconds okay h1 is equal to 14.4 tan 19 degree 58 minutes 20 seconds h1 is equal to 5.08 meter okay so 5.08 meter is the value of h1 after finding the value of h1 an rl of benchmark is also known the rl of benchmark is given as 880.500 this is the rl of benchmark now i want to find the rl of station a now rl of a is given by rl of a is equal to rl of benchmark rl of benchmark plus s plus h1 now rl of benchmark is 880.5 plus s value 1.380 is the value of s plus h1 5.08 meter therefore rl of a is equal to 86.960 meter this is rl of station a okay once again i will show you the calculation 14.4 into tan into tan 19 degree 58 minutes 20 seconds is equal to 5.08 meter okay then after finding this value r of a is equal to r of benchmark plus s plus h1 r of benchmark is 880.5 plus 1.30 plus 5.08 all of A is 886.960. So this is how we are going to find the all of top of the station A. Okay.